Hello my friends, welcome back, just grab a coffee and let's get started to a new lesson here using Affinity Designer. In this new tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create a realistic shadow using Affinity Designer 2.0. Let's get started. <laughs> to show you how you can create the shadows let's use here this awesome example as you see this object seems to be floating okay and the idea is to create the shadow and how you can do that it's very easy right the way that I'm gonna show you first I'm going to duplicate this object right here go to edit and duplicate so I have two of them go here in layer effect here below as you see okay and then you can apply the color overlay so basically I have here the same silhouette from this one I'll place this below by dragging and then I can just resize here this shape by transforming this box right here just to remember that once you uh, apply your mouse right here on top in this middle area uh, you can make this effect here as you can see we need to fit here this area in order to have this result and what we, we want to do it is to create a better transparency over here well first of all if you try to use the transparency tool and try to apply in this layer in case that it doesn't work what you can do it is to group this go here layer and create a group so you have now a group for this object and then you now can apply the transparent right here as you can see so after that what we can do in that case it is to apply the Gaussian blur and how you can do that go here below in layer effects and apply the Gaussian blur here in this option you need to increase the radius and then you're gonna have this more soft result so be careful because here below we don't want to make this very soft so what I want to do basically it is to close this window duplicate this again reduce here the size and then I'm going to make this a bit more less radius I will do something like that good now it's fitting a bit better as you see and I can resize here just a little bit and I will tweak this transformation and have this better result so as you can see here this object also needs to have a shadow here in between and what I want to do basically it is to use the vector brushes and how you can do that select here the vector brushes and you can use if you want you can download my vector brushes the free ones available on my ground also you can download my premium vector brushes okay I'll leave all the link here below so you don't need to worry in that case let's uh, use here this brush which is the candy master and after you select first of all let's try to make a stroke the main idea actually it is to make this bigger okay press vector brush now and then you need to raise more the width size and then you just you draw the line but in that case we need to apply this inside okay I don't want to make this going outside of my object so that case I need to select the image that I want to apply and then I'll go here on insert inside and then I can draw here let me first activate the stabilizer in order to have a smooth line and then I will draw just like this following this line here so as you see I'll increase more the size the brush size by holding ctrl and out and then I will do the, that again okay now I have this shadow here below but I need to smooth this a bit more I will press the transparency tool as you can see here and then I will do and apply a little bit more onto here and then I can use the the blend mode like in that case we have the soft light which is going to create this very nice result okay so if we hide here look at the different result that we're gonna have by doing that technique so I'm gonna hide here again as you see we don't have the vector brushes and then I will apply here and you see now that the ball it is fitting much better and much nice I just want to make sure that you are understanding a hundred percent not 99 not 98 a hundred percent I want to see you practicing here well let's do this in another exercise first of all I'm going to hide this product which is was very great one I'm going to now bring here this beer as you see if you want to create shadows you know now how to do that by using the duplicate color overlay and then you can tweak the image here below of the image as you see and then you can apply all right the silhouette of the shadow this is the main you know uh, idea right but sometimes it doesn't look very realistic if you do and leave this very flat so some situations I recommend you to do this pay attention right well let's say that you want to make the beer let's say following and I'm going to add here a circle here below let's suppose that this is the surface I'm going to make this 
a bit dark in circle like that and after that i'm going to apply the gaussian blur right here okay and activate this and increase and you can see here the result happening in the real time so what's important at this point it is to understand for example here we have this uh, close era right here okay like that and this area here is so far you know away what's important is that this area here is going to be more darker than this one because let's suppose that the shadow is uh, you know the lights coming into this direction and then of course the shadow is going to be the projection of the light and it's important to understand this concept and the main idea it is to make this bigger just like that okay and then i'm going to apply transparency just like this okay now you can see the results happening i can bring this a bit more close to our beer like that and then i will duplicate this one more time and reduce the size and then i'm going to reduce a little bit the gaussian blur because as close you go with the you know with the surface of the object it's going to be more sharp okay this is the main idea so here we have two shapes one for the biggest shadow and the lower shadow which is this one i'm going to solve this uh even more with the transparency tool just like that i will duplicate one more time now i'll apply here the gaussian blur reduce it just like this okay and then I apply more transparency bring it this to more or less here and as you can see the shadows has looked like more consistent but we're not finished yet we need to group now this shadow okay these three ones i'm going to group them all now group it and then i can apply the transparency in everything here as you see you can soft then multiple times using the transparency technique so the transparency tool and helps you to control even more how sharp it is the shadow in that case so i can apply this more or less like that and here look the shadow here now looks more consistent and nicer just like that as you can see and then for example i can just flip this onto here more or less and then i can apply this right here so of course the shadows the way that you apply it's it depends about the perspective that you are working on basically so of course always when you're thinking about the shadows you need to think like hey all right i have this object in that way but it reminds you that the shadow is having that air because we have a perspective like this so if you more with more you bring this more below it's look like more 2d by side so you have a surface more in the horizontal line like that i hope that this makes a lot of sense for you but look at this look at the result that we got for now we have the beer just like that and this circle right here and remember if you want to make this let's say falling like that you need to in that case let me uh, tweak here the shadows a little bit just like this here and apply transparency I'll apply right here in all this group here okay just like that I can use the elliptical mode as you can see I want to do something like that here and then look at this now we have a shadow more consistent but again if you bring this more close to this surface you need to sharp even more your shadows which means that you need to decrease a bit more your uh, you know hardness of the the gaussian blur which is going to make this a bit more realistic okay so if you really enjoyed here my friend this tutorial i really hope that you enjoyed please leave the like comment here if you want to see much more tutorials like this direct to the point i show you how you can solve a problem and that's it. If you want to learn much more than this, I suggest you to get my courses that it is available here on the description below. All right. See you and thank you so much and take care. Bye bye.